Hello there. We got a new project here. Uh, this is a 2012 for F154 by 4. So they are going to replace this part right here. Uh, this uh, case for the uh, front differential as you can see this is, is cracked right there so to do that <coughs> we need to take the knuckle out first the um, caliper and then take this cut out this is the nut for the uh, axle take the uh, these hoses right here and I got a new part here and that's the part now so now I'm gonna start work on this and I'll be right back Alright, got the knuckle out. These are the tools that we will need. Number 10, number 21, number 13, a flexible extension, a number 13, 16. Number five, uh, X seven for the uh, ABS sensor. And number fifteen, pliers, uh, pry bar, hammer, and a clip remover. And I got this for the axle. And let me show you. This is gonna be easy to take it out, I think. There you go. Here I go. Here I go. show you how to take the other one out. I'll be right back. Okay, it's time to get this thing out. So, uh, as this is a uh, drop from over there, I just use this for the chain, put it around here and pull it. Put the whole thing because I, uh, I couldn't do it from here. Maybe they need, need a special tool or something. But <clears throat> I just pull it from here and I think I need to pull it some more. Because you're gonna see this right here. See, it's almost out. So I need to pull it some more and then Replace, replace it for the new one. I think I'm gonna need a seal for this axle. This uh, the new one has a seal, but it's, it doesn't look like it's the one for the axle. So let me check and I'll be right back. Yeah. There it is. See, this is the same.
following here the all these uh, are still in place so I think I can say this here uh, uh, it was mounted on the uh, axle so I will try to do this out and keep that one because we have this one here I really see we have this one we got the bearing on the inside so that will be okay now I need to take one screw out uh, one bolt more it was hard to take it out with this thing so uh, um, I think I'm gonna have to find a way to put it on again and I put a new one but um, so far this uh, gonna be um, it's not gonna be too hard to put it on so uh, let me continue on this and I'll be right back okay I just Finish cleaning this area. Then just put um, silicone around. So clean it very well. And then uh, put some silicone again and put the housing. And then we need to put the uh, the outside. That's how you do it. Okay. So let me put this housing and then put the axle and then check the level the, the level for the oil and see if it's um, um, it doesn't need I think gonna need some um, oil because this one was was broke and it was leaking oil so it may need a little bit Let's do that. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, I made a mistake. I pushed the axle too much in. So now I don't have place to put the seal. I'm supposed to have here the place for the seal. Now I need to bring it back a little bit. I just made a piece of metal around. So that way I will start the 
um, the uh, teeth on this. I'm gonna pull it with the cooler and I hope it works. <coughs> So you can do this to uh, get it out from the first time. You see, that way you don't mess up the teeth. You need to come out. See, that's the place where you put the seal. And I think you uh, need a new seal because that one is looks like worn out so i don't know i'm gonna check with the dealer and see if they have it if not i'm gonna have to use the sand so i'll be right back all right i got the i did another co10 with this new part so it has a new seal and I, do, I recommend you to put this part together before you put it on that way you don't have to push it too much and have a problem so after i put this on everything else is gonna be just put it back together this is all I wanted to show you how to because I was looking for some videos and how to remove the uh, axle from here. I thought I thought uh, I had to um, take the cover uh, of the uh, um, front um, from that um, <clears throat> differential to uh, unlock it but this uh, is easy just you just need to pull it and it's gonna come out you don't need to open the uh, differential so now you just need to put it back together you know the procedure oh i forgot to tell you about this bolt is number 18 <clears throat> and um, you need to use a wrench or a ratcheting wrench if you have it and um, that's pretty much everything so let me put it back together and, uh, and if I have any problem I'll let you know but uh, everything is just put it back like where it was and uh, everything gonna be okay so if you like this video please share consider subscribing and uh, I'll be doing more videos I hope this video uh, help you uh, to do the job on your truck and um, um, you see uh, for the oil on this uh, specific car um, you need to uh, I think you need to use the uh, I'm going to use this one the 75 W90 but I think it has different, a different uh, number I'm gonna check with the dealer if this is not 
the right oil are gonna have to give the right right one. So be safe and uh, I'll see you in another video. God bless you.